Hi. Hi. There you go. My name is Mike, or to be exact, my name is Michael Murphy. And I am. I am. I can't begin to tell you what a privilege it is for me to come here and talk to you. It's not only a privilege, but I'm actually grateful to be here and a bit surprised. Surprised because they told me I would be talking to students. And from what I can see, it looks like some of you are having an incredibly difficult time with the curriculum here. <laughs> I'm grateful because about four months ago, I was on the operating table in Cedar Cyanide having some fairly dramatic open heart surgery. And so I'm happy not only to be here, I'm happy to be alive and I'm helpful, I'm healthy and I'm joyful and really, really grateful. Over the years, I've had many opportunities to talk to many groups, large and small, all over the world. There's some in countries you've probably never heard of and some in countries that don't even exist anymore. And more often than not, I have walked away wishing that I had said something else. Wishing that I had talked about love, compassion, joy, my kids. But instead, I talked about all the roles that define me in society. I talked about business and leadership and global dependency and surviving in multicultural environments, etc. Well, I would have much rather talked about the questions that my kids ask me. And my kids range from 41 to 5. <laughs> they ask me questions like, why is the sky blue, Daddy? Why are manhole covers round? Where, where do birds go to die? Daddy, can you tell me why we park on driveways and drive on parkways? And this is some of what Amanda was talking about. All the wonderment that exists in a child, all the possibilities, everything is possible. So this time I decided that I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. And at 2 o'clock this morning, I tore up little notes that I had made and I jotted a bunch of stuff on, on a Word document. And I want to talk about what I want to talk about. And so I'm going to pretend that this is the last chance I will ever have in my life to talk to anybody. Right? The last chance, tomorrow gone. What would I want to say? What would I want you to know? What, was, what is it that I would like, like to know? So this time, I, if you had to give this a title, it would be From My Heart to Yours. A few years ago, I went back to graduate school at the ripe old age of 65. I'm 68 now, in case you're wondering. And I went back for the simple reason to answer three very, very simple questions. Who am I? Why am I here? And how can I make my world a better place? My hope and prayer is that someday you'll be able to answer that question. Who are you? But who are you, more importantly, in relation to who I am? And what could we be together to make the world a better place for the highest good of all concerned? Knowing that the core of any relationship, whether it's a personal relationship, a love relationship, a business relationship, lies deeply in my view of myself and your view of yourself. And especially my belief in my own value. To have time to do this, they'd have to change the name to up. Mm -hmm. So let me just get right to the point. If you're a student here, and maybe even if you're a teacher here, or if you work here, you will finally go out in the world ready to pursue your life and your love and your happiness and your dreams. And what you're going to find is you're going to find thousands of people out there that have the same experience as you. You're going to find thousands that have the same resume, that have the same education. You're going to find countless numbers of people who are doing the job that you want to do for a living. But there's one thing that you have that nobody else has. You have you. And nobody else has that. You have sole custody of your life. Your life in particular, your entire life. Not just the life of your mind, but the life of your heart. Not just your bank account, not just the car you drive, not just the house you live in, but your soul. And people don't talk much about soul anymore because it's so much easier to write a good resume or a document. So here's a little something to take home. Watch your thoughts because they will become your words. And watch your words because they actually become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. 
and watch your habits. They become your character. And watch your character because it will surely define your destiny. So our five minutes comes to a close. And let me leave you with I am Mike, I am love, and in the simplest way that you could imagine, I love each and every one of you. Thank you.